Hi children, welcome to the Little Art Sunday School class once again. Thank God for this Lord's Day. And before we come to learn from His Word, let us pray and ask God to help us. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we want to thank you for this time that we can come before Thee. We pray, Father, as we come to learn from Your Word, that You be with the children this day. Help them, Father, to pay attention, especially to Your Word. And help them to examine their lives and we pray father that you will draw them close to thee may thou go before us at this time asking thee in jesus name amen so thank god for our sunday school class thank god that we're able to have this time of the learning of god's word today on the lord's day and today the title of our lesson is called the book of books proven the book of books proven and our text today is just taken from one verse it's second timothy chapter 3 verse 16. second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 let's read this twice please read with auntie tammy we start with the reference first that means it's second uh we read second timothy 3 16 first then we read the text okay ready go 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Let us read once more. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness may the lord bless the reading of his precious word you know whenever we tell people about god's word children for example when we go for evangelism sometimes they will ask us how do you know the bible is god's word and sometimes Auntie Tammy also have students asking me Auntie Tammy, how do you know the bible is god's word well what is there to tell us that the bible is god's word do we believe just because oh our sunday school teacher pastor say that then we believe well, look here, okay, Auntie Tammy has here many storybooks, okay, I have not many, like four storybooks, okay, I have storybooks. Would you believe it if I said that these books are written by God? Would you believe it? And now let me show you this. What is this? This is the Bible, right? Do you believe the Bible is God's word? Alright, you can tell me the answer when you message me or what. Okay, because I can't hear you even if you tell me the answer now. But let's look at the first point of our lesson today. The Bible's own claim. What the Bible says of itself. And in point A, author's name printed. The Bible says that it is God's word in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. It says that it is, itself is, the scripture itself is scripture and that it is given by inspiration of God so what it means is that it says that it is God breathed meaning the words in the Bible are words that came out of the mouth of God so now I'm going to show you the storybook once again okay this is a normal storybook and over here can you tell me who the author is where is the name of the author printed here okay here right okay let me show you another book where is the name of the author printed here okay this is uh, the book about Hudson Taylor and adventure begins and where's the author here Catherine Mackenzie this is the author so the name of the uh, author is printed here that's why you said oh this is the author you tell me this is the author the author is Catherine Mackenzie all right and point b it says believe by faith so it is by faith that you believe that the person whose name is printed here is the author of the book this person Catherine Mackenzie, is the one who wrote this book about hudson taylor and adventure begins you did not see do you see this Catherine Mackenzie writing down this book do you see her sit down and write do you see her typing the words of this book no, but you believe that she wrote it. 
and you don't go around with the book say, hey, hey, you think this is really Catherine Magazine who wrote this book? You think so or not, huh? You don't. You believe that she is the one. She is the author of this book. So, children, it is by faith that we also believe that the Bible is written by God. God printed his name as the author of the Bible through which verse? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And by faith, the Holy Spirit will also work in a Christian, and the Christian will believe that the Bible is God's word. Point two, the Bible cannot be destroyed. Point A or point two says, against the test of time. The Bible has been around for more than 3,000 years, children. Many years, right? Ever since Moses wrote down the first words. You know, most books last about maybe 20 years. Most books do not survive for more than 100 years or even 1,000 years. Although the Bible was first written so long ago, but do we have it today? Yes, we still have it today. And many still read it today. And we have it in large quantity. There's so many. And we have the Bible translated into more than 450. 450. We have the Bible translated into more than 450 languages. And God made sure that His people throughout all generations would have His word. Point B. Against the attack of Satan. You know, the Bible has been under the attack under many attacks all this time. But the Bible still stands. In AD 303, there's this Roman emperor called Diocletian. Sorry. Diocletian. He made a decree, he made a law to destroy every Bible. That was how the Bible was attacked during that time. And during this period that's called the Dark Ages, the Roman Catholic Church kept the Bible from the common people, from common people like you and me, for hundreds of years. They didn't have the Bible, they couldn't read it, they don't know what is God's instruction for them. Only the priests could read it. And there were also men like William Tyndale. You're familiar with him, right? He tried to translate the Bible and what happened to him? He was arrested, he was killed for the Lord. So Satan too, has tried to destroy the Bible all this time. But he has never succeeded. He has never managed to do so. And no matter how hard he tries and what he does, he would not succeed because the Bible still stands. It is God who has protected his word throughout all this time. And when we see how God has protected his word, children, it shows us that the Bible is important to God. And if it's important to God, it must be important to us. We don't just take out our Bible only during Sundays, today. Or during prayer meeting, or when your parents ask you to, Sunday school teachers ask you to know. God's word must be very important to us. And God has promised to preserve His word, to keep His word for us till this day. And we see that in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 says, The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. So when we see that the Bible cannot be destroyed, no matter how hard man or Satan tries, it shows that it is God's word. Point 3 of today's lesson is the Bible's accuracy. The Bible's accuracy. Now, even though the Bible has been written by over 40 writers over about 1,600 years, the Bible is still united. That means it's the same, it's consistent. It's the same throughout its theme. It's the same throughout what it says. They still write about the same person. Why? Because God is able to make His Word, this is His Word, united, consistent. Even though it is written by many different writers. This is impossible with men, right? Two, three people already got different thoughts. When you ask them to write something, it's all different. But God is able to make this happen by His power. The first point, consistent 
The Bible is accurate because it's consistent. All right. We see how the and in point two. Okay, so that was the first point. And point two, we see how the prophecies have come to pass. We see how the prophecies in the Bible have come to pass in the New Testament. For example, in Micah chapter five verse two, prophesied that Christ would be born in Bethlehem, and this was done in. Luke chapter two, all right. A few hundred years later, you know it is impossible for man to predict, to tell the future, and to be so accurate. Man is only able to roughly tell what will happen in the future, but no one can be as accurate like the Bible. No one can be as accurate like God. The one who knows the future perfectly is only God. And thirdly, we see how the Bible is accurate in science. Although the Bible is a spiritual book, it speaks of God, the knowledge of God. It is also accurate when it comes to science. Example, when the Earth is spherical in shape, you see that in Isaiah chapter forty, verse twenty-two, or the Earth is suspended in space, or in Job twenty-six, verse seven. No one knew of these things at that time. Science and technology has not advanced yet. The biblical writers would not have known of such things, and this shows that. Knowledge comes from God. Next, the Bible is honest. The Bible is honest when it describes the sinful condition of man. It doesn't hide. It doesn't flatter man. It shows the true sinful condition of man. The Bible is honest and hundred percent accurate and has no mistakes. You know, no man will have written such a book. Why? Because we are all sinners. We are not perfect. No man is perfect, and no man has perfect knowledge. So when we see that the Bible is perfect, children, it shows us that it is God's words, because God is a perfect God. So the Bible is God's word because it says it is, and by faith I believe it. Number two, it cannot be destroyed because God has promised to preserve His word. Number three, because there are no mistakes in it, and it is because they are the words. Of a perfect God. So, what have we learned for during this time of Sunday school? Just two points. Remember these two points. First point: Do not believe those who say that the Bible is not God's word. These people are trying to make you doubt God. They're trying to make you doubt the words of God, the character of God. And when you do that, God is not pleased with you, especially when you say you're His child. And yet you are attacking his word, and yet you don't believe him. How do you feel when people don't believe you? They doubt you. Much more God. Number two, believe that the Bible is God's word. Just believe it because God says it. He says it. I believe it. That is what faith is. So we thank God for this time of Sunday school. Let us end this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you for this time that we can learn from your most holy and precious word. Thank you, Father, for how you have preserved your word for us till this day. And even when man, Satan, tries to attack your word, but Lord, you have continued to protect and to preserve your word for us, because your word is our guide, our instruction for us here on this earth. And Father, we pray that you help us to love your word, even as how important your word is to thee. May you help us to see, Lord, how important the Bible is to us. Help us to love, to read, and to study your word, and to live out your word in our lives. We pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen.